Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bebo Cards. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I know that uh, we were gonna do a weekly Thursday card news, but due to uh, the flood and Hurricane Ida hitting uh, Jersey, uh, that was a crazy time last week. Uh, I completely all right, actually, one of the fortunate ones. Uh, but there's a lot of people that were suffering, actually a decent amount of people died, and people's lives are forever changed. So really didn't think it was appropriate to do a video last week, and uh, so yeah, so we're gonna be back at it. Thursday car news, once a week, Thursday around, around this time, between 8.30 and 9.30, at Eastern Standard Time, but not like it matters because we're not live. Um, thank you to my subscribers, Hit the like button, subscribe, comment, get involved, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe! And uh, yes, let's get involved. Love you on Instagram. Getting close to a thousand followers. Again, thank you to everyone. Just need to now get the subscribers up on YouTube to follow suit. Uh, but nevertheless, here we go. Thursday card news. So like we did for the first time, just gonna say the news and then after, after each item, um, we're going to go to my opinion. A-Rod backs out uh, out from Panini. So Slant A-Rod um, was part of SPAC and they were trying to do a merger through Slam and that was the the, Pat, the, the SPAC uh, company that he was working with, very similar to MUDS with Tops, which that merger fell after the MLB um, deal. MLB took back the licensing from Tops. That deal went kaput really quickly. Uh, and and A-Rod and SPAC back out from trying to take over, uh, whether it's Panini America, Panini, uh, the team at one point it was, it was a close deal, but it is official, they are done. Uh, two investment advice of the week, that will be on the opinion, so I'm going to give my advice, but as you can see the two cards, and since it's opening night, and literally the game has just kicked off between the Dallas Cowboys and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, um, so it'll be a football related. And then SGC increases weight. So um, SGC announced actually Pete, the, uh, the owner of SGC put out a video the other day saying that the average wait time was around 16 and a half days. Uh, I actually have a, a decent size submission. Uh, I think uh, 19 cards to be exact. Uh, and I did it through Nash's cards, which I got that link from Sports Card Nonsense. $25 a card if you just do the assessment yourself, 30 cards if you want them to do the assessment for you and let you know whether you should submit them or, or not. That's through Nash's cards. Uh, I think we, I am on day, not including business days, just in totality. Um, I think we're on day like 15, 15 or 16, if I remember correctly. And Pete specifically said 16 and a half business days, very massive, so that's five days that, out of the week and uh, increased it, said that pretty soon that they're gonna get to 45 to 50, that's due into SGC gaining more and more ground um, onto it. Actually very interesting with Slap Stocks, uh, said a Justin Herbert rookie card, the same card, PSA 10 and SGC 10 within 24 hours, finished within $25 each of each other. So um, it just illustrates that SGC is, is gaining more ground and also, that uh, a lot of people are submitting to SGC. Uh, I, I, it looks like the popularity will never catch PSA. I'll take, I'll, I'll take over that in the opinion. So let's go back to item one in, in my opinion on the matter. So A-Rod backs out of from Panini. This is correct or correlation to um, Fanatics uh, because uh, Panini right now is worth 1.3 billion. Fanatics is worth around 18 billion. Um, it's really not that far-fetched that um, that Fanatics may be continuing their domination and monopolizing the market, which definitely has a lot of people concerned, and rightfully so, um, that they're going to buy one of the big card merchandise, whether that's Tops, whether that is um, Panini, those, are the, those two things, may, maybe Upper Deck, we, we really don't know. Um, there's even speculation that Fanatics may go after the one of the grading companies, whether that's CSG, HGA, um, SGC, what have you. So um, A-Rod backing out, out from Panini, which I, again, at one time was looking really, really close. I actually was keeping my eye on the um, 
at the stock market that under SLAM, that's actually their uh, stock ticker symbol, just to see if there's anything. And it always fluctuated between $9.60 and $9.80 and really didn't move. Um, and it shows you that maybe that was the case all along because even after this announcement, the stock really didn't change very much. Um, again, it was looks like it was close that, that that SLAM was going to purchase Panini and take over, similar to what MUDS tries to do with Tops to, to make them go public. But that is put an infinite bud. And again, direct correlation from Fanatics just taking over the licensing and getting merchandising uh, agreement from MLB and NBA and NFL. So an investment advice of the week. Look, you, you can't go wrong with certain players and um, in the long run, especially, doesn't feel comfortable saying this, that the car market is very morbid. Uh, people get emotionally attached for people that are no longer living. The biggest, latest example, people might mean to think of Kobe Bryant, but Kobe Bryant already had a really good appeal. Hank Aaron was the one that came to mind because when Hank Aaron passed, like some of his cars, especially his rookie cars, went three, four, five times X. Um, so Jim Brown, uh, one of the greatest running backs of all time. Some people still think he's, he's the greatest running back. Um, this is his... Rookie card, got this uh, PSA 5 uh, miscut, so it's a bit of an error card. And yeah, this is his rookie card, PSA 5. Uh, and this is his 1966 Tops. And this is a uh, PSA 8 near mint with the misnomer of off, off center. So uh, I got those for two really good deals uh, below what their usual market value is at those respective ratings. And um, they're still low. And Jim Brown is 85. Um, you know, so has it that we eventually pass. And when that does, uh, the market's going to skyrocket. And again, you know, one of those sure things in the car market, one of the safest advices that you can. And also being the NFL kickoff, I thought it'd be pretty apropos that we would talk about the NFL. So Jim Brown, that's my investment advice of the week. It's actually, it's pretty easy to find his cards. It's not like um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Luel Cinder, uh, Walter Payton is a good example. Uh, Bill Russell is, is a good advice, but um, his 1957 tops is really tough to find and like to make it affordable for for even some people you would almost have to go down the PSA 3 PSA 2 um, but those are great those are great deals but Jim Brown rookie card uh, there's still deals available on on eBay uh, highly recommend sit one of the safe advisements probably besides buying seal boxes of really good really good um, hobby boxes Cards like Jim Brown is as safe as they come. So that's my investment advice of the week. And SGC increases weight. So opinion on the matter is, is SGC superb communication, letting know everyone what, what's going on and actually getting people ahead of it. Um, it's actually kind of actually smart marketing by SGC overall. They say that it's 45 days in it, 45, 50 days incoming so people are going to want to do it now before it gets to 45 50 days so i wouldn't be surprised in sgc's numbers if they increase their level of submissions because of his announcements do i think that was planned yeah i kind of do and it's pretty smart marketing um it, it also represents that sgc's popularity is growing because it looks like psa is not coming back anytime soon actually i think it's going to be July 1st, 2022, when they really open up and they may never go back to bulk again because there's just way too many people in the card industry that are, are, are loyal to PSA and um, are just waiting for them to return, patiently waiting. I, I mean, I talk people through Facebook Marketplace, through Instagram, um, yeah, those two, those two places where people will, are just going to wait for PSA. They, they, they're they just adamant that um, they're going to wait for PSA. And you can't blame them because until this point, it's SGC is still 30% on the market. And um, I think SGC has passed 
Beckett now. I mean, Beckett's pristine and with their autos, I'd still prefer to go to them. Um, but as an overall, as a service and in value, I think SGC has surpassed. And, uh, P and SGC giving this type of communication, saying that the level of amount of people that are coming, the amount of submissions that they're getting illustrates that um, they're growing. I'm sure they're gonna to look to continue higher and train. They have the most consistent grading out there. Um, they're not as tough as HGA, but they, they're consistent. Um, the first submission, please check out that video of, of the SGC reveal. When we got those, those cards back, we could look at the card and we can understand why it got that rating. There are countless videos of people getting PSA submissions ever since March of, of this year, where, uh, I mean, I looked at their cards, they looked at their cards, and I mean, some of the times, like, what I look at as would be a PSA eight or nine, people were getting PSA sixes and sevens, and some cards that are just absolutely stunning uh, are getting uh, you know PSA nines, PSA eights with real no rhyme or reason. So again, SGC leading the way in customer service communication and trying to get ahead of the game, and in my opinion, a little bit of a smart of a marketing de uh, ordeal as well. So again, let me know your thoughts. Um, what is your idea idea with fanatics continually looking like they're monop they're going to monopolize the market? Let me know your thoughts. Um, what do you think of the investment advice of the week? And then SGC, are, are, are you slowly changing your mind if you're PSA or if you're SGC, does this continue your love? Or, or maybe because the, the weight is gonna get to 4550, maybe this may turn you off if you're not gonna get that return on investment because for a while, 15 to 20 business days of return, it's a really quick turnaround um, where you can really get cards in, get cards out, sell them, and really just really get that money flow, which helps the card market, helps everyone else. Um, and potentially uh, decreases that gap. So again, uh, like, comment, subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope all is well. Please take care. Uh, stay safe and welcome back football. Peace.